In today's video, I am going to be breaking down different four out basketball plays that you can run with your team. If you've got younger players in roughly that 12 to about 15 year old age group, depending on their skill level. Now let's get down. Let's check these out. But really quickly, make sure to go check out my complete guide to the five out offense that is down in the description below. And also my unbeatable basketball zone defense book that is able to trap the corners, double the low post and don't leave any man open so definitely go check those out now let's get down and let's check out this four out basketball play or set of basketball plays that can really help your team win okay so four out some play or some teams will run it a bit higher like this some teams will run it with a guy in the low post and with guys in the corner and other teams will run it with guys in the corners and of course the high post this all comes down to your team, your skill team skill level, and the options that you want to have. So a great option that you can run is for player one to dribble across the court and then have a dribble handoff with player two. Once player one does that dribble handoff, he is going to roll towards the basket. Player five is going to pop up and set that screen for player two. The idea here is for now, Player one to roll to the basket. Player two is going to use five as the screen. Now, player two could take that shot. That's the first option. Second option is for player one to be open for the layup. Player two could also drive to the rim as well. And if he draws a help defender, he could drop it off to player one for that layup. But this is the initial action. If none of these options are open, we're going to have player three lift player one pop out and then player five is going to go back into that high post when this happens we can go on to the next four out play or we can do that dribble handoff once again however personally i would go into a secondary four out play which is the next play that i'm about to show you we can go into a dribble handoff with player four player four is going to use that dribble handoff player five is going to come up and set that screen so now player four has that ball Player two is going to roll to the basket. Player four is going to continue off of that staggered screen. And now we can hit player two with that layup. We can hit our three point shot or mid range shot. And if none of these options are open, player four could also attack the rim as well. He could attack that high post. He could then draw help defenders, which can then allow him to pass to player two. He could kick out here. There's so many different options that teams can have, but our main offense, if it breaks down, is now going to have player four back out player two then fills that corner player five goes back into that high post now you can run that same play once again or you can run another four out play if you are running the four out offense you could always just pop out and go to the five out there's always options like that but the next the third play that i'm about to show you is another fantastic one this one can work really well against zones as well so we're going to have player four pass to player five and then we are going to have player four and player three attack or cut i mean to the basket at this time player five could pass to either player three or four and we're going to have player two and one lift when they lift four and three are going to pop out we are back into that four out but the ball is in the high post now whenever the ball is in the high post and it's the big guy who's usually there he needs to pass the ball out to the perimeter he has multiple different options he can pass to one he can pass to three he can pass to four or two it doesn't matter with my younger teams i like to run it where player five kicks the ball out and sets the screen for the ball handler this would be just a simple screen and roll and the play would be over and we can go to five out or what you could also do is if player five passed to player two player five could set a screen away for player one he could set that screen away for player three he could set the back on back screen on player four he has lots of different options all of these options can really help your team win the game so for example setting a back screen on player one player one is obviously going to be super quick player five is a big man if they switch off now it's a center who's trying to defend player one and player one's going to be quicker which means that he should be able to get that layup if player five pops out these guys lift fill out and we're back into we're into five out i always like to finish each play that i run myself with a screen and then or if it's a set play it's not an option not not a motion set play finish it 
go to five out and run a five out motion. That's what I like to personally do. Now you could run it in the low post and there's different options for this as well. So for example, what I like to do here and one of the, my most favorite player plays is to have player four. He is going to set that screen for player one and player one is going to come off of that screen. Player four is going to then roll to the high post. He's going to do a quick cut to that high post. We want to try and hit him into that high post. When this happens, this usually lifts that player five's defender up, which means that we get a high to low post pass. This works ridiculously well against a zone. This actually works so well that I had a team using this play solely for a whole half of the game and scored like continuously, nonstop. So basically what happens is the defense will be shifted and you'll have player four come up and set that screen player one attacks player four player four rolls off now these guys are inherently trying to trap that ball we quickly pass to player four if that draws player five up we do a high to low post pass if it covers has player two cover we kick the ball out. He has to try and shadow this ball until player two gets back. If we can quickly pass down to player two, have player five switch sides, this could be a quick pass to player two for a three or a pass into player five while the defense was shifting. If player four clears out, player one fills up top, and these guys are shifting over, then there has to be either a layup here, potentially a kick out pass here, which would then draw player one, and then we could even go into, by drawing that defense and shifting it, they probably lost. After player 5 kicks the ball out, he could go to the high post and run with the last play that I just showed you. These guys are all going to be collapsing on the ball. Nobody wants the ball in the paint. And if player 3 cuts back door, player 1 cuts here, this could be a quick pass to player 3. This would be through this hole right there. And then that could be a layup. Or if player three red collapses, kick out three. There are so many different options in this play. I hope that you have enjoyed. Hit that like button, subscribe. Go check out the links up in the corners or down in the corners, wherever I put it. My camera died, so you don't see my face. And I'll see you guys again in my next video.